What's going on guys and welcome to Who To Sign For. Now in this series I'm giving you my recommendations on what players to sign for a specific team in career mode. But before we go on I will say that the signings you'll see aren't designed to be realistic and that the player ratings and potentials of the players may vary depending on what database you're using and how they perform for you during the season. Obviously you don't have to follow the tips, this is really just a set of guidelines to give you a hand if you're stuck for ideas and what some suggestions and what players you could sign for a certain club. This is mainly aimed at those you're out there who may be new to the game I just need a little bit of advice or for those of you out there who just want a few recommendations on what players you could sign for a team that you may be using in career mode this year so yes in today's episode of who to sign for guys we are going to take a look at Derby County of the Championship yes the rounds who of course right now are in the FA Cup against Manchester United tonight huge game as Wayne Rooney will take on one of his former clubs so very looking forward to that and in the Championship Derby County right now several points off the playoffs but their team in the game is definitely a fun one to do a career mode with. Now, they start off with a budget of around £8.3 million. With wage budget alteration, you're more likely to be looking at around £10 million in the budget in the first season. And their objectives in the first season are to fight for promotion in the championship, which is kind of ambiguous. I'll get into that in a moment. And also reached around round of 32 in the FA Cup as well. And their team is pretty decent. I must say the championship is a very competitive division, so it'll be tough to fight for promotion in the first season but it is doable it's not bad but the one thing I will say is that there's some really really good young talent here at Derby County uh, you tool for two fullbacks in particular uh, Lowe and also Jaden Bogle in particular the young right back is only 18 years old but has some really good potential good young midfielders in Bird and Knight as well it's a really, really good looking uh, young Derby County team and definitely a fun one to do a career mode with. Uh, as for the fight for promotion objective, as I mentioned a moment ago, that's quite an ambiguous objective. It doesn't really give you an indication as to where you need to finish. Ultimately, if you make the playoffs, that's good enough. So fall outside the playoffs and you'll fail at objective. However, if you finish between third and sixth, you'll be okay. You'll hit that objective. The top two, of course, gain promotion automatically. That will count as exceeding the objective. But again, to hit that objective and to meet it, you have to finish between the positions of third and sixth. So even if you finish in sixth, the final playoff place, the game will still recognize it as a successful domestic objective, which has been achieved. Uh, so yeah, this is Derby County side. And uh, again, compared to some of the other teams in the championship, it's not as strong as uh, some of the big boys in the second tier but again there's a lot of good young talent here and with players with their contract coming at the end of the year there are quite a lot of them including some aging players the two I give contracts to are Louis Sibley really really good young talent just 17 years old and 60 overall and also Buchanan as well 58 rated but only 18 years old these two teenage talent can both get into the mid to high 70s and with dynamic potential possibly even break into the 80s as well good young teenage talents give those guys contracts but let let the rest of them go. But as the players put a transfer list, you just saw it there. There's loads and loads and loads of aging players here at Derby County. And this is why they'll be a really fun team to use in FIFA career mode this year. They've got a young team, but also a lot of aging players that are deals to come the end of the year as well, such as Craig Forsyth, Chris Martin, not of Coldplay, but a Pride Park. Uh, Martin Waghorn is 29, but I recommend selling him in the first season as well. Uh, you've got Tom Huddleston here as well. Tom Huddleston uh, also plays at Derby County. I recommend putting him on the transfer list as well so there's lots of aging players to sell on uh, from Derby County in the first season and they're a great team to do a rebuild with with a big transition needed but uh, you see here we did get to work selling some players uh, Craig Forsyth going Martin Waghorn going and also Chris Martin is off to play for BSC Young Boys so the clocks have now struck midnight on his time at Derby County and he'll be playing in the yellow at BSC Young Boys absolutely shocking and uh yeah as for new signings with Derby County you know there's dad jokes and then there's just terrible jokes that no one wants to hear that's in the that's in the latter category there but as for new signings with Derby County uh, I would recommend bringing in a couple new midfielders with the Rams and my number one target would be this guy right here it's Morgan Gibbs White of Wolverhampton Wanderers this is an exceptional young English town applying his trade at Molyneux right now and you can get him for his valuation he's only 19 years old but already 71 rated which means he's good enough in the first season to go right into your starting 11 be one of your best holding midfielders and again with his potential too this guy grows to 84 overall and with dynamic potential and player training you can get him into the high 80s as well but 84 is his base potential and again I would recommend putting him in the deeper role in Derby's 4-2-3-1 and not in the cam role because whilst that is his secondary position uh, I would say to begin with, his technical stats 
aren't really good enough to, to, to cause too much havoc in the first season. I'd personally recommend playing him deeper, and once he starts to get better, then gradually phasing him further up the field to be more involved in the offensive moves. So yeah, to begin with, I'd sit him deeper in the team, but as time goes on and he begins to develop those technical stats, that's when I'm moving forward to play him in the cam role and uh, give him more freedom and a more advanced role in your Derby County team. But so, yeah, Gibbs White, my first recommendation for a signing with Derby County, and my second recommendation, who would probably be my number one target, to be fair, with Derby County, would be this guy right here. It's Bukayo Saka of Arsenal, who I'm sure every single one of you knows all about. This is one of the hottest young prospects in English football. The Arsenal winger is just 17 years old, yet he starts off 72 overall and has 87 potential. And again, you can get him for around his valuation, which is what we got him for, which is just 5.5 million pounds. And that is an absolute steal for one of the best young talents in English football. We signed on a 7.5 grand a week wage as well, so very cheap contract for five years too. This guy can play all down the left-hand side of the pitch as well, so left mid, left wing, further forward, and also as well, you might notice his uh, third position is actually left back. So if worse comes to worse and you've got an injury crisis, you can play this guy as part of your back four in a left-back role, and he's got the stats to do that. But personally speaking, though, he's better when playing further forward, of course. He can do left back, but... He's better when pushed up further uh, on the pitch. With a four-star weak foot, high medium work rates, the guy's absolutely rapid with 86 acceleration and 82 sprint speed. Some great technical stats to begin with as well. And high medium work rates too. With his pace, he's going to cause some opposition fullbacks some real problems. And again, whilst you can play him left back, you are going to want to start him as your first choice left midfielder in your team. What I'd recommend doing as well is drifting Tom Lawrence in midfield to play Cam as opposed to playing on the wing. Lawrence is decent on the left-hand side. And that is his primary position. However, Cam is his secondary position. And what you'll notice is Tom doesn't have that much pace. And as we know in FIFA, pace is incredibly important. So you want someone quicker to play on the left-hand side. And when you compare the two stats of Saka and Lawrence, you'll see Lawrence is much better suited to be playing infield in the center of the pitch and being a more direct threat. A lack of pace with better technical stats than Saka, whereas Saka's got the pace and improve his technical stats over time. So I'll play Lawrence in the middle of the park, playing Cam and also Saka out wide on the left hand side. But as for more signings with Derby County, we still had some money left over as well. And I also recommend a new centre-back with the Rams too. Of course you've got a young man on loan in Clark and also the experienced centre-half in Curtis Davis. But you'll want someone for the future that's a permanent Derby County player. And I recommend one of these two signings here. Either Ben Godfrey of Norwich City or Dale Fry of Middlesbrough. The choice is yours. They are both 21 years old. They are both 71 rated. They both have 82 potential. Really, it's totally up to you. They'll cost you around the same transfer fee. They'll cost you around the same money in the weekly wages. It's just personal preference. Fry is taller, but Godfrey has the leadership stat and is also quicker as well. I opted to go for Ben Godfrey just because I've used him before, but really, Godfrey or Fry, either would be superb. Again, they're both 21 years old, both 71 rated, and both have the same potential at 82. So really, it's just personal preference here. Whichever one takes your fancy and whichever one you prefer, I opt to go for Godfrey. Fry is just as good, but I went for Godfrey as I've uh, used him before. And I must say, I, I really like the leadership trait on young players as well, which Ben Godfrey does have too. So I'd start him over Curtis Davis in the first season as well. Uh, Davis is one rating higher and he's also taller as well. However, as you'll see side by side comparison here, Godfrey's better in pretty much every single stat category apart from defending, which of course he'll get better at as the time goes on. And he's also, I believe, 11 years younger than Curtis Davis as well, yet only one rating lower. So personally, speaking I recommend starting Godfrey and having Davis now in his 30s coming off the bench uh, for the young talent and I'd also recommend recalling Scott Carson uh, from his loan spell at Manchester City as well. Uh, the veteran goalkeeper is now 33 years old. He's 71 rated, which means that when you recall him for a very cheap fee of around £150,000, you can either have him starting in the Derby team as your number one, or he's got what I call resale value, and you can cash in on him in the first season and get a transfer fee of around £1.4 to £1.5 million. I always say this, when you join a team and have got players that are out on loan right now, 
now that have got resale value, I recommend recalling them and either using them in your first team or selling them on for a profit instead. With Scott Carson, the choice is yours. You can either recall him and have him as your number one, as he's better than both your goalkeepers right now in Ben Hamer and Ruse, or you can sell him for a profit and bring in a younger goalkeeper. The choice is totally yours. But as we accept a bid here for Tom Huddleston and Ikechi Anya as well, and we also negotiated with this Chinese side here for Ruse too. Uh, again, Kel is 27 years old, so not too old, but uh, only 68 rated. So Carson is free ratings higher, and also he's the same overall as Ben Hamer, who's here on loan as well. I would recommend uh, selling him in the first season. You don't need free goalkeepers. Ben Hamer, you're just paying his wages for, so you'll keep him here. And even if you do uh, opt to sell Scott Carson, I'd still sell Ruse as well, as you can get someone uh, cheaper and also far younger as well. Uh, so we agreed a deal of £999,000 with two sides here, and it was totally up to him to choose which one he'd rather go to. And uh, I'll just recommend selling Florian Josfun as well. Uh, decent little player, to be fair, but uh, you can get around 1.1 to 1.2 mil for him. That's the fee we agreed of Rare Vallecano. As you'll see in time, this deal actually falls through, but he does end up getting sold to West Bromwich Albion, a division rival instead. But uh, regarding Scott Carson, as I mentioned a moment ago there, we recalled him from his uh, loan spell at Man City, and as you'll notice, we did decide to sell him to Al Hilal uh, for, I think it was £1.45 million. And again, this is why I always recommend this. When you do start a new career mode and you see they've got players that are currently out on loan right now that have resale value, just recall them. You know, it costs around £140,000 to recall Scott Carson. We make back 10 times that amount on selling him here. It just makes so much more sense to do that. So as you see here, Ruse uh, eventually does get uh, sold uh, at the second time of asking after rejecting the first move. But uh, Scott Carson's deal does go through, as does Anya here. And he goes for 1.45 mil. Whilst he's on loan at Man City right now, as he's 33 years old, his value is just going to continue to drop as he's old and he'll continue to get worse in his attributes as well and you're not really getting any benefit for having him out on loan right now but if you recall him again at 71 rated he's the highest rated goalkeeper in your team so you can start him as your number one or again sell him for 1.45 mil it just makes so much sense to recall the players it's an easy way to either improve your team or get extra cash for your squad it's it's one of those two things there you know keeping players out on loan when they've got resale value is just utterly pointless in career mode unless you're playing uh, for realism purposes. But we sold Carson for 1.45 mil anyway, as uh, Ruse also got sold as well. As did Josfun, as you'll see, he rejected the first move to Rea Vallecano, but it does go to the Hawthorns for 1.1 million pounds. So after the sales of quite a few players there, Huddleston, Anya, Ruse, Josfun, and also Scott Carson as well, we now had around 4.3 million pounds in our transfer budget to splash on some new players just before the first game of the season. And I would recommend a couple of new wingers with Derby County as well. We've sold Josfun, we've sold Akechi Anya, and I'd recommend bringing one of these uh, one of these guys in. You've got Michael Johnston of Celtic, who is a very, very good young, talented Scottish wide midfielder, but he was a little bit too pricey for me in this first season. I wanted to bring in a couple more players as well. But Jeremy Doku is one of the best young talents you can buy in Karima this year for under £2 million. You can get him for his valuation, which is £1.9 million. And you might look at his stats and think, well, 69 rate is not the best. He's just as good as Josfun, but not better in terms of his overall rating. But he's 12 years younger than Florian, and he's got 87 potential as well. He's on a dirt cheap contract of just three grand a week, which is absolutely nothing in today's modern football world. And again, he can play on either side of the wing, left wing or right wing, with high medium work rates, four-star skill moves, four-star weak feet. He's absolutely rapid, this young man. And again, with 87 potential as well, he's an exciting prospect and in the first season he's the type of impact sub that gets bums off seats he's got the flair trait as well I just love these sort of players you know the young raw talents that come off the bench with lightning pace running at tired legs and get the fans off their seats I love those sort of players and Doku is one of those players in the first season he won't be starting in the first 11 but he'll be coming off the bench and causing havoc in late game situations so again for 1.9 mil it's an absolute steal for a player of 87 potential and also signed this guy as well for 2.1 million pounds. No, I'm not, not, not going to bluff it. I don't know much about this guy, but 
It's Kamil Zosviak of Lech Poznan in Poland. He's the same rating as Doku, 69 overall, but uh, four years older at 21 years old. However, he does have 84 potential in the game. So not quite as good as Doku, not as young, and uh, also not uh, not as highly, uh, not, not had to have as good potential as Doku. But 84 is still very impressive indeed. And in the first season, again, he and Doku coming off the bench. Imagine these two as impact subs with like 20 minutes to go coming off the bench here with a game tied at 1-1 with their range of pace I mean that's just fantastic to think about so yeah Josviak very good player as well as Doku maybe not quite as exciting but high low work rates three star three star and again for 2.1 mil with 84 potential growing 15 ratings you can't really go wrong but the final signing I did decide to make with Derby County was this guy right here now of course after the sales of Ruse and Scott Carson as well you will need a new goalkeeper as Ben Hamer is only here on on loan and I'd recommend this guy over anyone else if you have the money then I would definitely recommend Diogo Costa who starts off 70 overall so he's good enough to be your number one right from the get-go start all your games and uh, grows to 83 potential however if you're looking for more of a longer term project I can't recommend this guy highly enough Martin van der Voet of KRC Genk this guy in real life became the youngest ever goalkeeper in Champions League history this season at just 17 years old he starts off 65 overall so not the highest however he grows 20 ratings to 80 85 overall and you can get him for around his valuation we agreed a deal of 740,000 pounds and the best thing about van der Voet is he's only getting paid 450 pounds a week in Belgium right now which is absolutely nothing so you can get him for around a grand a week which is nothing whatsoever on a five-year deal and again as he grows 20 ratings this guy becomes one of the best goalkeepers in the world when it's all said and done and he is peaking so I definitely recommend van der Voet as a backup goalkeeper for Ben Hamer in the first season and then after Hamer goes back to his parent club from his loan spell from season two onwards, Van der Voort can be a starting goalkeeper just 18 years old for all the years you're at Pride Park. So those are our three final signings with Derby County. As you could see, the two wingers, Doku and uh, also Josviak coming in alongside Van der Voort as well. And our transfer business was a officially complete as we spent all of our money. We sold eight players for 9.1 mil. And as you can see, most of those players were in their 30s and we signed six players for £17.6 million. Pounds. Lots of money to spend for a championship side in the first season. However, when you look at the age of the players that have been signed here to Derby County, you've got Josviak and also uh, Godfrey, who are 21 years old. But the other four talents we've brought in are all teenagers. So we're adding to the young talent here at Pride Park. And I must say, this is a very exciting young Derby County team. Saka, Gibbs, White and Godfrey will all go into the first 11 as young English talents. And Van der Voet, Josviak and also Doku will go onto the bench as young talents here at Pride Park. But the question was, could this young yet very exciting Derby County team hit their objectives in the first season of fighting for promotion to the Premier League in their first season with... Philippe Koku in charge and also reached around the 32 of the FA Cup as well. So once again, fight for promotion means finishing a top six in a playoff place. Well, as you could see... We did indeed make the playoffs in our first season with Derby County, finishing in fifth place. We were a whopping. Oh, man, when are we going to fix these broken lead tables, man? We were a whopping 32 points behind Leeds United, who finished up with 118 points, setting a new record for points in a championship season, winning 38 games out of 46. Listen, it could well happen one day, and I wouldn't be surprised if it does happen, but it's incredible how every single season there's always one team that dominates look at the top three they all had 102 points or more but uh, regardless we finished in fifth place so a very successful season for Derby County finishing in the playoffs did we get promoted though unfortunately not we finished in the semi-final stages with Cardiff City uh, getting promoted back to uh, the top flight after beating Nottingham Forest who were the team that knocked out in the semi-finals of the playoffs as for the Carabao Cup obviously this doesn't count towards our objectives but I always show it regardless we were knocked out in the second 
round of the competition, so not really fussed about that as uh, Manchester City won it once again. I, I do always show this because I think it's quite interesting to show it, but again, what you always need to remember when you're managing an English side is that you have a cup objective, but it is never the Carabao Cup. It's always the FA Cup objective, so don't worry about the Carabao Cup at all. We were knocked out by a Premier League side, uh, Aston Villa, uh, who of course knocked out Derby in the playoff final last year. They beat us in the Carabao Cup in the second round, 3-0. And as for the FA Cup, well, unfortunately, whilst the league objective was a success, the FA Cup was a failure. We were asked to reach the round of 32 in the FA Cup, which is one round uh, further than uh, we enter. We were knocked out by Premier League side Wolves in the third round, 3-1 at Pride Park. So as I always said, there's never any shame of getting knocked out of a cup competition by a team that's in a higher division to you. It does still technically count as a failure, but I don't think the fans would hold us to, uh, to, to too much criticism over getting knocked out by Wolverhampton Wanderers, who, of course, as we know, are playing Europa League football this year as well. So no shame in that. But uh, regardless, it was still a failure. How the team did very well in the first season to finish in the playoffs with, you know, a, a very young side. So many young talents here at uh, Derby, including the six we signed. And of course, as we know, the championship being a competitive division, I would say to finish in fifth place, that's a really successful first season. Yes, sadly, we didn't gain promotion. We didn't need it to. We just needed to fight for it finish in the playoffs and that's exactly what this young team did. I was very impressed with how the youngsters got on even if the FA Cup was technically a failure. Uh, Van der Voort grew three ratings in the first season to be good, uh, just as good as Ben Hamer so he's ready to take over as a first team goalkeeper straight away. Ben Godfrey uh, grew two ratings playing 48 games in the championship. Solid first season for him scoring three goals as well. Uh, Saka scored four goals and bagged two assists in 31 championship games growing three ratings in his first season. Just 18 years old this teenage talent is on his way to becoming one of the best young players for club and country. Uh, Josviak had an amazing season. I was surprised about this, but he scored 18 goals in 42 great, uh, games. Grew two ratings as well. And what a season he had at Derby County. I, I don't know much about the guy, but I'll tell you what, he could be a hidden gem there. He was fantastic. For some reason, Gibbs White did not play much at all. Only grew two ratings in the first season and only played 14 games as well. That was quite disappointing. I don't know why he didn't really play in the first season. And Doku as well only played once as well. I don't entirely know why the AI managers decided not to play those two young talents as they're two of the best we had. But despite only playing one game all season long, he still grew four ratings to 73 overall and grew his market valuation by a whopping 257% as well. So all of our young talents grew really nicely in the first season. And again, at Derby County at Pride Park, this is not a one or two season series with you or save with you. This is a long-term project. And the type save your play for multiple seasons as you try and rebuild the rounds get them back into the top flight and hopefully one day into Europe as well it's a project to Derby County in the first season all you've got to do is lay down the groundwork sell some old players bring in some young talents and fight for promotion if you can do those three things you've had a very successful first season with the rounds but that was this episode of the design for guys so big thank you for watching we hope you have enjoyed it and if you did enjoy this episode please drop a like much love to you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you for the next episode of who to sign for very soon.